Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys a very quick and easy way of how to create a system image backup on your Windows 10 device. This will work for earlier versions of Windows as well, and this is definitely a great backup utility to have lying around. So especially if you guys are familiar with the troubleshooting area within Windows 10, or other versions of Windows as well if you're trying to run a recovery disk you would be often asked if you have a system image backup you would want to restore your computer from well in this brief tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to create such a disk so this will be pretty straightforward and we're going to jump right into it I'm not going to waste any more time so we're going to start by heading over to the star menu and you want to left click on it now you want to type in file history should be something that comes up with restore your files with file history on Windows 10. Windows 7 and Windows 8 probably will just say file history. So just left click to open that up. So if you get it something that says no file history was found, there should be something that says configure file history settings. Basically we're just trying to get to this page right here. So at the bottom left of this window there should be something that says system image backup. You want to left click on that. Now on the left side you want to left click on where it says create a system image. Just be patient here, it's going to be looking for different backup devices. So we have a few different options here, but let's first read the description of where do you want to see the backup. So a system image is a copy of the drives required for Windows to run. It can also include additional drives. A system image can be used to restore your computer if your hard drive or computer ever stop working. However, you can choose individual items to restore. So that's one pitfall of this utility, but it's really not that big of a deal. I mean, I think most people in this situation just want to be able to get back into their Windows computer. So you actually have three different options here. You can save it on an external or secondary hard disk or hard drive. And since we do not have one here, it just gives us the option to refresh. By refreshing, if you just connected one to your computer, it should come up in this drop down menu. You can save it to a DVD or multiple DVDs if you're experiencing a situation where you have more that you have to save to the disk than is available space on that disk. And you can also save it to a place on the network. And just so if we click on select here, you have to access a network location. And for most people, this would not be something they would be doing on a local personal computer. So more than likely, you're probably going to be saving it on a DVD here. So all you would do is just select that. And then you would click on next. It's going to confirm your backup settings. Please make sure you have your DVD or CD in your computer at this time. It says this backup could take up to 16 gigabytes of disk space, so pretty big. And it should say the following drives will be backed up. So we can see it's going to back up the system reserve partition as well as the C drive. So at this point we would click on start backup. It would begin running the tool, which should be pretty automatic. So it's going to say the following drives will be backed up here. You just left click on start backup would begin the backup process. And while you're backing up your computer, you will be prompted if you want to create a system repair disk. I would recommend that you guys do that because it'll just back it up directly to it. So just keep that in mind. If you are prompted, I would recommend that you just follow along and create any additional utilities that Windows suggests. And then at that point, you would should have a bootable DVD or CD that you can back up your system to or external hard drive as well. Again, it really depends on what your personal preference is. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I think we pretty much covered all of our bases. So I do hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out. And I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.